Tim Duncan. The big fundamental. Old man Riverwalk. Timmy! Timmy! How good of a player was Tim Duncan? That's what I want to examine on today's Facts Only. Now if I asked anyone off the street, give me your top 10 NBA all-time players, most people would not say Tim Duncan, but the facts don't lie. Tim Duncan finishes in the top 15 in so many impressive categories. He's 14th all-time in most career points, 5th all-time in most career blocks, 6th all-time in career rebounds, with more rebounds than Shaquille O'Neal, Kevin Garnett, Charles Barkley, and Karl Malone. Now let's look at a deeper statistical analysis of Timmy. Let's start with PER, Player Efficiency Rating. Tim Duncan is an impressive 14th all-time in player efficiency rating. Duncan is 6th all-time in VORP, 14th box plus minus, and an even more impressive 5th all-time at defensive box plus minus. Now you can't talk Tim Duncan without talking about the playoffs. 19 seasons with the Spurs, they were always competing for championships. And if you look at Duncan's playoff numbers, they are absolutely amazing. Through 251 playoff games, Tim Duncan averaged 20.6 points per game, 11.4 rebounds per game, and 2.3 blocks per game. Duncan is sixth all time in NBA playoff points, third all time in NBA playoff rebounds, and first all time in NBA playoff blocks. 251 games. Basically in an extra three seasons, Tim Duncan played at the highest level you can possibly play on both sides of the ball. And in those 19 seasons and 251 playoff games, he won an NBA title, not one, not two, not three, not four, but five times. Duncan was named the NBA Finals MVP three times second most all-time in the history of the sport. Now let's compare Tim Duncan's numbers with an all-time great, Shaquille O'Neal, the big diesel. Shaq and Duncan both played 19 seasons in the NBA and they both had amazing careers. But how do they stack up side by side? Shaquille O'Neal finished with 23.7 points per game, 10.9 rebounds per game, 2.5 assists per game, 58% shooting from the field, and 2.3 blocks per game. But people might be surprised, Duncan goes head to head with Shaq. 19 points per game, 10.8 rebounds per game, three assists per game, 50% shooting from the field, and 2.2 blocks per game. While they both played in 19 seasons, Tim Duncan actually finished with more career rebounds, blocks, and assists than Shaq. I can already see people saying, well, Tim Duncan played in more games than Shaq. That's the truth. But Give Duncan some credit for not missing games and not getting injured or taking time off. The guy was a machine. Let's look at some other prestigious NBA awards that Tim Duncan achieved throughout his career. Two-time regular season NBA MVP. 10-time first-team All-NBA player. Third amongst all players in the history of the sport. 15-time All-NBA player. Tied for first in the history of the sport eight-time first-team all-defensive player, a seven-time second-team all-defensive player. So 15 of his 19 seasons, he made an all-NBA defensive first or second team. The guy played defense. Tim Duncan was not the most exciting basketball player. He wasn't breaking backboards like Shaquille O'Neal. He won individual awards. He won team awards. He was an all-time great on all facets of the game. And he did it for 19 seasons. What more do you want from the guy? Put him up there, guys. When you name all-time greats, don't forget Timmy. I'm Andy Ruther, and this is Facts Only. Peace. Timmy. Guys, if you liked that video, subscribe to us on YouTube. Do it right now. They're on YouTube. Oh, well, that's right. right now. Smash the like button. Throw down on the like button or up if it's over there. Or is it over there? And leave a comment. Argue with us. We're here. We're not going anywhere. We'll respond to you. You might get some more Bill Walton over here. I don't know where the subscribe button is, but take your finger and throw it down on the button. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>